With Tenge devaluation in dollars, that's actually even less expensive now. I'm kind of paying twice as much. Y you probably wouldn't see a difference in your monthly expenses. Um, and I consider YouTube to be one of them, but I think it's the biggest investment that you can make, which is really expensive to be honest, but I actually got a few requests from you guys. Um, you were looking to date Kazakh men and Kazakh women. So I came up with an idea to create a dating app because I have background in computer science. And so I started developing that and coming up with ideas. If you have any requests, if, you have, if you're interested in joining, if you want to get notified when the app launches, I have a link down below. And yeah, check that out in the description below. Monthly expenses in Kazakhstan. Hi guys, my name is Salta and on this channel I share what it's like to live in Kazakhstan and today I wanted to talk about highly requested topic which is monthly expenses, what, how much budget do you need for a month, how much on average you would spend in Kazakhstan and how much I personally spend in Kazakhstan in a month. So I did include like rent, utilities and everything in there. So let's begin. So when it comes to rent, I actually did another video where I do an apartment tour where I live and I did share how much it costs to rent that apartment. With Tenge devaluation in dollars, that's actually even less expensive now. When back then it was like 900, now it's like 820. So in Tenge, it is 350,000 Tenge, uh, which is actually very expensive in Kazakhstan. Like on average, it would be about 150, 200K, which is around $410. So I'm kind of paying twice as much because that's a really cool apartment. That's a really great uh, location. And it's something that I'm willing to invest in. But in general, you can get apartments for so much cheaper in Kazakhstan. Point number two is utilities. And utilities, again, for my apartment would be a little higher than average, actually, a lot more like twice as high for the average for my utilities um, especially in the winter months like last time I paid it was about 50,000 tenge which is really expensive to be honest but um, that would be about hundred and seventeen dollars but on average for other apartments that would be in the summer months when you don't need to heat the apartments that's usually 10k to 15k and in the winter when the, when there's heating um, you would pay about 20k so that would be on average about eighty four dollars on my previous video where I talk about my expenses for my for the week actually here you can watch it um, I did not include fuel because that week I, di I didn't pay for fuel uh, my fuel that I pay for usually lasts me for about a week and a half and last time I paid for fuel it was about 12,000 tenge and if I do that like three times a month which maybe I did like the upper estimate for the fuel that I get every month um, that would be about 36k, which is $84. When it comes to washing my car, um, I don't really wash it that often, to be honest, because there's always rain, there's always like some kind of weather conditions that, you know, there's no point in washing it. But when I do it, that's about 6,000 tenge, which is, which is about $14. And let's imagine I wash my car once a month. When it comes to parking, parking is very minimal here. I don't even uh, want to count it. It's about 100 tenge, 200 tenge. That's like how many, like 20 cents, 30 cents, you know, things like that. And that would maybe roughly come to a couple dollars. So y you probably wouldn't see a difference in your monthly expenses. Beauty items is something that, you know, depends on someone's expenses and preferences and whatever they need um, i'm just gonna include whatever i spend this month i did get a couple of spfs what did i get i got some hair masks and that was for about 3600 tenge which is 84 dollars and then i got this bracelet actually yesterday and that was also 36k which is 84 dollars next is something also optional but i do spend a lot of money on education on different online courses i always take some kind of courses and i i love to learn i'm very curious about things in this time and especially about my professional career um, and i consider youtube to be one of them um, it's not the only thing that i do but it's something that i do take very seriously and i take a lot of courses and last time i took a course which was about 38,000 tenge and it's actually it was really discounted um, for Kazakhstan which was really nice otherwise it would cost about 300 dollars 
but I paid only 38k which is which is $89 which is really nice and I thought that's a great deal next thing is also optional but I think it's the biggest investment that you can make um, I go to my therapist I go to my therapist every two weeks for like 40 minutes 50 minutes that would be about 40k tenge which is about $94 and to me that's like the biggest investment that you can make as I said before because uh, mental health is something that you know is really big and um, out there and you need to work on that and I can talk about that in another video but that's something that I'm willing to spend on next set of things again that I do uh, which not every not typical person might spend on which is a lot of hobbies that I have and like different activities that I do which is yoga, I go to the gym, I do my vocal classes, I do my dance classes I wanted to add some instruments to that which I didn't yet but when it comes to yoga I spend 25k a month which is $56 um, for gym I actually started training with this uh, personal trainer which is very cheap it's actually 10k I pay for uh, membership but it, it comes with a personal trainer and she trains people in groups so she doesn't stay with you the whole session but she just tells you what to do and like she circles around which is really something that I discovered um, and I think that's like such a great deal because usually personal trainers in Kazakhstan are more on an expensive side so 10k that I paid for my personal trainer that would cost that is $23 a month or maybe that's like eight um, eight sessions I'm, I'm not sure but that's still very cheap <laughs> for my vocal classes I pay 36k which is $84 and it is on, a, on an expensive side you can't find vocal classes that are 10k 20k but I personally love my um, teacher my coach vocal coach she's like an amazing singer herself and I learned so much through her that I never learned from other people so I'm willing to pay a little extra for that and then um, there's a dance class that I go to once a week which is about 14k 20k depends but on average that would be 15k tenge and in dollars that would be $35 by the way I'm counting uh, as of current rate for dollar and tenge which is 427 beauty services <laughs> that's a big one because it's very cheap and so you can do so many things with your appearance so I do my manicure once a month which is about 5,000 tenge which is about $12 I do my pedicure which is about 7k on average um, and that's uh, $16 I do some lash extensions sometimes not always not all the time but usually it's about 10 to 12k tenge which is around which is around $26 and then I recently for the past like four or five months I started doing laser treatments for my skin for my hair removal and that is like 23k a month um, which I actually thought like why did I not invest in this so much earlier than, the, than, than I did now because it's such a lifesaver so 23k is $54 a month that I pay for a laser hair removal gosh for food and groceries you can actually check my video about how much I spend in a week because you can see how much I pay in restaurants but I looked at my bank account and I saw how much I spent for the past month for food and restaurants for cafes for groceries and that's about 130k which is around $311 which I still think is very cheap because I mostly eat out in Kazakhstan um, there's another expense that you may not encounter which um, I go to my doctor who checks my gut health who checks my uh, you know like levels of vitamins in my body and like in general it's just something that I do as a checkup you know so the doctor's appointment costs 20k which is about $47 for internet if you want to have internet in your apartment um, that usually would cost you about 6,000 tenge and it's pretty fast internet when you compare it to the US uh, and it's gonna be about $14 so once I go to my doctor I usually spend some money on some supplements and this time this past month I checked how much I spend in pharmacies and that turned out to be 25k which is $60 house supplies sometimes you need them sometimes you don't but last month I bought this wok pan um, because the the one that I had didn't do its job properly so I got one for 31k which is from Korea it's called happy call or something um, and it's around it's around $73 for taxi 
taxi is so cheap in Kazakhstan. On average, it would cost you 700k, but you do need to get an app for that because if you do try to, you know, negotiate prices on the streets, people might fool you and you may you can't check how much that actually cost. But if you get Yandex Go or Yandex Taxi app, you can um, just get the taxi wherever you need to go. And that usually about 700 tenge on average. I might have taken about 15 trips this past month. And if you calculate that, that comes to about 10K a month. Um, and that's about $25 for the whole month. How cheap is that? Cell phone, again, that's another tip. If you come to Kazakhstan, just get another, you know, cell phone payment plan or something like that because it's very cheap. Like I paid 2380 tenge for my cell phone plan and that's around, that's not even $6, guys. That's like $5.57. And that's crazy when you compare it to the US. That's like usually there you would pay hundreds of dollars, 100 or maybe $50 at least. But here it's like, six dollars okay you might have had some uh, subscriptions kind of um, expenses which I don't have right now I'm, I might have some Google Drive expenses which is about two dollars but I didn't buy any clothes except for this bracelet this month so good for me I would rather spend uh, money on some kind of courses you know something for my health some kind of hobbies that I have and then I did want to mention that there's car insurance that you pay yearly which turned out to be 18K, 18,348 tenge, which is $43 that you pay for one year for your car insurance. And that's a general like minimal type of car insurance. And there's also the membership that I have for another gym. It's actually about 500K that you pay a month. And that usually, that's like a thousand and a thousand and one seventy dollars for the whole year. And that includes, you know, the gym membership, there is like sauna complex, there is um, a lot of swimming pools. So there's a lot of facilities that you can use. You can just like stay there for three hours, which I usually do. Um, but you know, that's something that's not really worth it. I wouldn't recommend spending money on that, which I probably won't do next year. But if you don't count those yearly expenses, the car insurance and the gym membership that I have, and it's actually an expensive one. You can find so much cheaper ones. If I counted it correctly, it turned out to be $2,143 that I spent last month, or I on average spent. And if you subtract whatever I spend on my rent and on my utilities and do the average one, that would be about $1,651. And I just like added everything else that I do, but a lot of things that I do, people might not do, so you can just go by buy some necessary things just like internet food and groceries and th something like that so you can calculate from there with all the expenses that i shared and subtract whatever you don't need but you get the idea how much you would spent on average in kazakhstan and i think it's still very cheap when you when you compare it to other countries and so that's a huge advantage of Kazakhstan and I recommend for you to at least come visit and see for yourself. If you like this video, go check the video about how much I spend in a week. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below. If you have any suggestions, comment down below. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my other one. Bye guys.